so in this video i'm going to show you a pretty handy hack of console logging things that you can uh, use to effectively debugging your javascript application and the hack that i've been using for quite some time in order to improve my productivity in debugging my javascript application so let me show you what that is exactly so i have an object called user over here and normally if you want to console log this uh, variable what you can do is you would just log it like this it will just log that uh, that variable in the console like this so uh, it, it's just the content of that variable now the problem with this approach is when you are uh, logging multiple things in your script javascript uh, script uh, you wouldn't be able to know what exactly has been logged in the console so to mitigate this what you can do is uh, you can append a string just before the object like this so now you will be able to know yeah this is a user object just because we have printed a string now as you can see there is a, a sort of a manual work involved in this because you would need to uh, also log a string in order to know what has been uh, printed in the console but there is, is there is a pretty concise and effective way of doing this and that is this so what i will do is i will just print out or uh, console log that uh, variable out as an object like this so what this does is it will print that uh, variable or log that variable in the console which has a an object that has a variable name as a as its property and the content of that variable as its value so let me show you how this can be useful in an actual browser console so let me copy this uh, object and now if i want to console log normally so as you can see it, it has just uh, uh, logged the content of the variable now if i log it as an object as you can see it has printed as an object and the name of the variable as a key and you can expand this further to see what is there in the object itself or rather than viewing just an object without the context what it is exactly and that is how it is useful you will be able to know the context basically the context of what has been there now this works like uh exceptionally well with other data types as well so for instance let's say we have an array called john chain as you can see it works exceptionally well for arrays as well it works well with strings yeah it works with integers yeah so yeah this is how it can be useful and you don't need to manually print the string in order to know what you have printed exactly and uh, yeah that's about it and and i think this is a pretty handy you don't need to remember a lot of things in order to use it and at the same time it will increase your productivity quite a bit when debugging your javascript application and that's about it if i hope you like this video and if you do consider subscribing to my channel uh, for more such videos in the future and uh, yeah i will see you in the next one bye